Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Today is a great day. Today is a Seiko unboxing day and we are checking out here. You can tell it's a cool big box. So whenever you have different shaped Seiko boxes, it means something special. And here we are looking at one of the ice divers. Um, the ice diver is a special edition that was made for the USA. It's a USA exclusive watch and it is part of the Sumo series. And the way to get one of these cool Sumo watches is you have to go through a USA dealer and specifically a Seiko Prospects uh, Lux dealer. And um, Lux is a little more of the higher end uh, Seiko dive watches. It's not as high up as a Grand Seiko, which is a whole different entity now, but it is a luxury version of the Seiko dive watches and the traditional Seiko watches that you'll find, you know, the, the traditional prospects, the, the turtles and the samurai. So here you got the sumo and that's why it might be a little harder for you to find the sumo, but this is the ice diver collection. This one is one of my favorites of the series. I'm still debating if I like this one, the black and the gray or the white and the blue better. Um, the green one, I love the green color, but the green one reminds me of uh, last year's sumo a little too much but I like these new color combinations. Um, the white and the blue, very nautical, uh, looks like yacht club or like a sailing club type of watch. This one here, you know, when I saw the pictures, I wasn't too, it was, it was like, it was cool, but not super cool. But then when you see it in person, the colors just kind of jump off each other. Looks great. Um, you can see here, it's a gray dial. And usually I'm not crazy about gray dials, but here they do it nice. It's light. It's got some warmth to the gray because a lot of time gray tends to look cold. And if you look at um, the dial there, what they did was they even put like all the, the metal parts, the hands, you know, the, the hour hand, the minute hand, the second hand, they're all done in, in gray. And so are the markers. So instead of throwing a silver in there, it's actually gray. So that gives it that cool kind of like gunmetal look. And it, it just, I think it's a little tiny detail, but once you notice it, you're like, oh, that, that's why that watch looks so good. And besides that, they have a little highlight of blue on the second hand, and that blue just really pops over the black and gray. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic color combination here, and it's something I hope I see in other Seiko models. So let's get down to it. This is the Seiko Diver um, Ice Diver uh, Sumo, and this was made for the USA exclusive, and it is a... Um, 6R35 caliber watch. That is the movement. It's a Seiko in-house movement. It's an automatic with hacking and hand winding. Uh, the best part about the Sumos and the 6R35 movement is the 70 hour power reserve. 70 hour power reserve is great. Um, that way you can put down your watch a little bit and still pick it up and it's still running without you having to reset it. Fantastic. Now you might be asking me, Hey, why, why are they calling this thing an ice diver? You know, what's going on there well they're celebrating um seiko's mastery of timekeeping instruments in extreme environments if you go out there and see some of the videos uh of seiko you know you can see them submerging the watch to super deep um you know locales and also you know seiko's been known to go to dangerous places extreme environments and this one in particular celebrates the 50th anniversary of legendary Japanese adventurer, Naomi Umura. And he um, conquered Mount Everest in 1970. And he was wearing a Seiko 6105. Now that watch looks nothing like this watch. But uh, they're just celebrating the idea of that adventure and their progress uh, in watchmaking and extreme environments. So if that makes sense, um, that's what the idea is behind it. And this is, of course, a stainless steel watch. Um, the case size is a 44 millimeter uh, case, but the way they designed the lugs, uh, they bend into you a little bit and it just perfectly wraps around your wrist. It's fantastic. It's 44 sounds big, but once you get it on and you, you start, you know, moving around in it, it's not chunky. It doesn't bump into things. It's, it's a fantastic size, uh, especially when the way they design the lug system. Other watch companies, a 44 millimeter might be too big, but Seiko, the way they contour the watch, is freaking awesome. Okay, so um, this of course has a screw down crown and case back, and this comes with a stainless steel K, um, bracelet. 
and it's got the special uh, wetsuit divers extension on the bracelet. The dial again is part of the Ice Diver series, which is a special edition series. And one of the features they all have in common is they've got this special waffle style uh, dial or, you know, a waffle or grid pattern on the dial. Um, the whole look, the color combinations of all the watch are supposed to be inspired by glaciers and the different colors you see uh, in the glaciers. So it's a cool concept and a cool idea. Um, it's, you know, been a great year for different Seiko watches. And the Sumo here, these new additions that they're coming in the U.S., um, just a very cool addition to the Seiko lineup and, you know, give you something a little bit different because uh, the Sumo line was a little thin compared to some of the others. So uh, my wrist is about a seven and a half inch wrist, you can see here, and the 44 millimeter looks nice and comfy on there. And um, again, all because of the way it's uh, shaped. So I'd like to um, take this in the, when you see here in the dark, uh, you got the great loom there. And I'd like to take the time to uh, thank you all for listening to this video, um, getting through the whole thing, and please subscribe if you want to see more new cool Seiko watches, and um, please like the video as well. Thank you. Hope you all have a great one. You've been fantastic. Bye.